Hey guys, this is Camplified and today we will talk about Raoult's law. Uh, I don't know if my pronunciation is correct, but I will call it Raoult's law. You can call it any way you want. So without wasting time, let's start. Before we start our topic Raoult's law, we should know, to, we should know about a few things. And the first one is vapor pressure. What is vapor pressure? Now, it state, uh, the definition states that at constant temperature, the pressure exerted by the vapors of the liquid of the liquid on its surface when they are in equilibrium is known as vapor pressure what are they liquid and its vapor now to understand it let's draw a simple diagram suppose we have a container and we have any liquid in it now it is a liquid not a solution so it means only one component is present in this particular liquid only one type of particles are present in this liquid now if we increase the temperature or at any temperature it starts to get vaporized now it is vaporizing the vapors are moving out moving out of the liquid and going in air now if the container is open the vapors will move out of the container but if you close the container the vapors will be trapped above the surface of the liquid now the vapors will continue to increase above the surface of the liquid and at a particular point you will note that the vapors will start and condense to form liquid again and from the liquid the, li the liquid particles will get vaporized to go in vapor phase now this particular condition in this particular condition equilibrium is achieved now this is in equilibrium right now at this particular point at a constant temperature the temperature should always be constant at constant temperature the pressure exerted by the vapors vapors are present above the surface of the liquid the pressure exerted by the particles of the vapor of the liquid on the surface on this particular surface on this surface when they are in equilibrium is known as vapor pressure so what is vapor pressure the pressure exerted by the gas or vapors on the surface right so this was the definition of vapor pressure now let's move ahead now what are the factors which affect vapor pressure first is nature of liquid now in nature of liquid you can talk about uh, miscible and immiscible liquid if you talk of very much basic nature of liquid miscible or immiscible uh, if you move a little bit up uh, you can talk about polar and non-polar liquid we know that polar solvents uh, dissolve polar solute and non-polar solvent dissolve non-polar solutes now but in this topic what we will talk about is volatile in solution in the topic solution we will talk about volatile and non-volatile volatile liquids and non volatile liquids remember this simple definition what is the meaning of volatile liquids volatile liquids are those liquids which wants to evaporate or which can evaporate easily i repeat volatile liquids are those which wants to evaporate or which can evaporate easily what are non volatile liquids non volatile liquids are those which do not want to evaporate or need a high temperature to evaporate right just to give an example petrol and perfumes you know that as soon as they come out in the environment they evaporate giving a cooling effect so they are volatile in nature non volatile liquids which do not evaporate easily in comparison of petrol and perfume you can take the example of water water is non volatile in comparison with petrol and perfume solid substances when dissolved in liquid are also non volatile for example sugar and salt you can dissolve them in in liquid but their nature is non volatile they don't want to evaporate right so we will talk about volatile and non volatile nature of liquid in this topic second one is what is the second factor second factor is temperature and we all know that in general as temperature increases pressure increases in our case we are talking about vapor pressure so as temperature increases vapor pressure increases right now now comes our definition of raoult's law 
what we will talk about is liquid liquid system raoult's law for liquid liquid system so raoult's law for liquid liquid system states that for a solution of volatile liquids for a solution of volatile liquids the partial vapor pressure of any component at constant temperature is equal to vapor pressure of pure component multiplied by mole fraction of that component in the solution now the statement itself is giving the formula we will talk about that formula later but first we are talking about a solution of volatile liquids which means in our container in our closed container the liquid phase consists of two types of components or more than two different types of components now if the liquid phase is containing two different types of component the vapors will also be containing two different types of component right the vapors will also have two different types of components now what is the meaning of partial pressure let's draw another diagram simple diagram for example it is a container and it contains three different gases a b and c now the total pressure is is the total force exerted by all the molecules of a, a, a b and c now what is partial pressure partial pressure is i repeat partial pressure is the pressure exerted on the walls of the container by gas a only gas a and it is denoted by pa now in similarly <coughs> in similar way the pressure exerted by particles of gas b is pb and the third one is pc so this is your partial pressure the pressure exerted by one of the component present in the present in the container now in our case our liquid liquid system we have two components right we are talking about two different components <coughs> now liquid system also contain two components and gaseous phase also contain two components so the pressure exerted by particles of component a and component b or you can say the particle uh, the pressure exerted by the small dot and the larger dot are different right so uh, we are talking about the partial pressure of one component let's say this is a and this is our b component the smaller dot is a and the larger is b now if we are talking about component a then the partial pressure of a is given by look at the statement the partial pressure of any component at constant temperature is equal to vapor pressure of the component in pure state vapor pressure of a component in pure state is represented by p not a multiplied by mole fraction mole fraction is represented by psi right so this will be the formula for raoult's law for liquid liquid system this is partial pressure this is partial pressure of gas a in the solution now this is partial pressure of pure component and this is mole fraction of that component right now the second for second gas you will write pa is equal to pv not multiplied by Xi B or mole fraction of B. Now, what is P not A or P not B means? It means it means if there is a container and there is one liquid which is made up of only one type of particles or molecules. In this situation, at a particular temperature, it will give vapors, right? it will give vapors and the pressure exerted by those vapors on the surface of the liquid is vapor pressure in pure state vapor pressure in pure state i have already made a table which which will give you every symbol and its uh, notation uh, just to know this is vapor pressure of component a in pure state when no other substance is present right so this was the definition of raoult's law for liquid liquid system now let's take a look at the short table vapor pressure in pure state let me change the color vapor pressure in pure state liquid b for liquid b it is p not b for liquid a it is p not a vapor pressure in pure state partial pressure is pb and pa 
मोल फ्रैक्शन इज जाई ए एंड जाई बी और यू कैन सिंपली से एक्स ए एंड एक्स बी नाउ दीज थ्री टर्म्स यू ऑल आर वेरी मच फेमिलियर इफ यू नो अबाउट द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री लाइक मोलैरिटी नॉर्मेलिटी देन यू हैव हर्ड ऑफ दीज टर्म्स दीज टर्म्स आर नॉट मच आर नॉट मच ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंस बट दीज थ्री आर रियली इंपॉर्टेंट रिमेंबर दीज नोटेशन पी नॉट बी पी नॉट ए पी बी पी ए एक्स ए एक्स बी नाउ अगेन according to the raoult's law at constant temperature partial vapor pressure is directly proportional to the mole fraction partial vapor pressure is directly proportional to the mole fraction now when you remove the proportionality sign you will find that partial vapor pressure of uh, component a is equal to vapor pressure of component a in pure state multiplied with mole fraction this is your simplest formula for raoult's law remember this formula and for component b the formula remains the same just the notation changes in place of a you will write b so this was the formula for raoult's law i hope you understood now according to dalton's law of partial pressure now we will derive a derive an equation now according to dalton's law of partial pressure total pressure total pressure is equal to partial pressure of all the components present in our solution i repeat total pressure is equal to partial pressure of all the components in our case we took only two components a and b so we will talk about partial pressure of component a and partial pressure of component b now look into the bracket we know that total mole fraction Value total mole fraction value can never be greater than one. The addition of all the mole fraction values will give you one. Now we have two components. Our x a plus x b value will be equal to one, or we can write x a is equal to one minus x b. From the above equation, we can write x a is equal to one minus x b, right? now substitute this value substitute this value in place of xa what you will find is p total is equal to or pressure of the solution is equal to per, uh, vapor pressure of component a in pure state multiplied with 1 minus xb plus vapor pressure of component b in pure state multiplied with xb now multiply p not a with the two values p not a minus p not a xb plus p not b x b this is simple derivation now there is something common between these two terms and that is x b or mole fraction of b take take it out as common you will find that total pressure is equal to vapor pressure of component a in pure state plus mole fraction of b multiplied with p not b minus p not a now this equation this equation that we have written is very much similar to another equation let me write that equation first y is equal to mx plus c you can write this equation as y is equal to mx plus c just i have just interchanged the terms Uh, one second. Now, m x plus c. Now, if you compare, this is your y, this is your c constant. This is your x uh, x b value, and this is your m. Uh, our main point is m. M means slope, and this is your equation of straight line. this is your equation of straight line which means that this equation will give a straight line and you can see in our graph that for both the cases all the three cases if we talk about the uh, partial pressure of b partial pressure of a or total partial pressure or total pressure we will find that all the lines are straight why because it is very much similar to equation of straight line now slope the slope can be positive or negative 
द वैल्यू ऑफ स्लोप कैन बी पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव एंड इट डिपेंड्स ऑन पी वी नॉट एंड पी ए नॉट पी वी नॉट एंड पी ए नॉट इफ पी वी नॉट वैल्यू इज ग्रेटर देन पी ए नॉट इफ पी वी नॉट वैल्यू इज ग्रेटर देन पी ए नॉट द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द ब्रैकेट और द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द वैल्यूज इन द ब्रैकेट विल बी पॉजिटिव एंड अवर ग्राफ विल है पॉजिटिव स्लोप इफ पी ए नॉट इफ पी ए नॉट इज ग्रेटर देन पी वी नॉट इफ पी ए नॉट इज ग्रेटर देन पी वी नॉट अवर वैल्यूज विल बी अवर वैल्यूज विल बी नेगेटिव अवर वैल्यूज विल गिव अस नेगेटिव आंसर एंड अवर स्लोप विल बिकम नेगेटिव राइट सो रिमेंबर दिस in this particular case value of m will be decided by the value of the values of p b not and p a not now for future purpose remember this graph we will use this graph in ideal solution non ideal solutions so remember this graph uh, let me give something about this graph this is zero and this is also zero uh, for x axis and y axis this is our zero 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 and from this side also this is our 0 0 now at this particular point at this particular point mole fraction of xa is 0 which means there is only one component present at this particular point and that is b that's why mole fraction of b is equal to 1 and the pressure and the pressure at this point and the pressure at this point is vapor pressure of component b in pure state similarly if you look at this end if you look at this end oh, uh, the mole fraction of b is 0 which means there is only one component present that is a at this particular point the pressure shown by component a is the pure vapor pressure of component c remember these points that's how you read the graph all right i will repeat this graph again in upcoming videos for ideal and non ideal solution until then thank you very much for watching but before we close the video let me repeat one more one more time the definition of vapor pressure because this is important what is vapor pressure the pressure exerted by the vapors vapors of the liquid on its surface remember we are talking about a surface we are talking about a liquid surface and the vapor or the gaseous molecules above the surface the pressure exerted by these gas pa gas particles is called vapor pressure this vapor pressure term will come often in upcoming videos so remember vapor pressure remember vapor pressure remember partial vapor pressure and remember vapor pressure in pure state all right remember these three terms because these three terms will be repeated again and again in many situations so this will be it for today's video thank you very much again for watching